One of Victoria's first bed and breakfasts, Ravenswood Homestead, is on the market. After 20 years in the hands of Art Van Dyke and Troy West, the iconic property, originally known as Alexander Run No. 2, is up for sale and is expected to exceed the $3 million mark, breaking records in Bendigo. But I knew it was here, I knew it was special, and I knew I had to have it. No, it goes, we're going, we're moving, moving to the country, I'm like, what? So um, <laughs> we ended up buying it the day before the auction. Mr Van Dyke said he is excited to be embarking on a new stage in his life. I bought it when I just turned 40, and now I'm just about to turn 60, so I think it's time for a new chapter. I think when we bought it, like I said, I had to have it, so I had blinkers on. I was a dream buyer, didn't look at the rotten floors, didn't look at the rotten verandas, didn't look at the rotten gutters, I just had to have it. The heritage listed Georgian style home boasts modern comforts and is surrounded by historic memorabilia. Gold was found on this property that turned Bendigo of course into one of the richest gold fields in the world and it all started here. Originally built in 1857 by Frederick Fenton, the property passed through several families until it was bought by Art Van Dyke and his partner Troy West in 1994. Mr Van Dyke said the homestead had been restored to its original state. Wow, sadly to the grants we had to cut a lot of their trees out because of the grants. So I think the outside has changed quite a lot. Still absolutely beautiful, still plenty of trees left. To the inside I think we, 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 we spend a lot of on power, bathrooms, plastering, Oh God, all new fireplaces, cars. new fireplace put in. Yeah, all the fireplaces, yeah. like I said, were stolen and vandalised, so we put in three new marble fireplaces. Yeah, we just ripped them all off, took them. We um, re completely repaired the veranda, we put on a magnificent swimming pool, we completely repaired the stables where it's just about to fall down. The pool, that's another feature too, by the way. <laughs> My favourite part is the front garden with the, um, the fountain we put in. So you can do 360 turns and it's beautiful views all around and it's just gorgeous out there. We created that, it was an old rose garden and we put in a fountain in 2000, it's our millennium, wasn't it? Mm. Commem commemorative and it's, millennium. It's, 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 it's very much yeah. the same as in Rosalind Garden. So yeah, apart from that, the top of theirs is a boy holding a snake though. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's obviously a city fountain because it came from the city of Mildura and then Bendigo got one and then Ravensville got one. But Rosalind's Park's... Um, is a stainless steel. No, cast iron. Cast iron, sorry. Ours is the first one ever cast in bronze. Yeah, we didn't do it So check. that makes this pretty special. During World War II, the wealthy owners found it hard to get servants, so they relocated to the Windsor Hotel in Melbourne. The homestead lay vacant for the next 20 years. 20 years of no one being here well, or coming here, yeah, all, you know, can do a lot of damage, especially with water and also vandals. people, people vandalising. Yep, smashed, oh, right. smashed every window in the place. They used to have little, was, fr little French windows and they smashed every one of them. Set on 35 acres, the home can comfortably sleep 40 people. One particularly memorable couple, an 85-year-old woman and a 50-year-old woman, who referred to themselves as Rainbow Earth Mothers, were part of a religious sect that combined Catholicism and UFOs. I looked out there and the 85-year-old's standing there like a, like a scarecrow doing this waving in the air, and the younger one's over by the tree making very suggestive notes grinding against the tree, getting grounded, not making love to the tree sort of thing. I thought, oh God, and then anyway, they're coming to here and then Art arrives and he comes in and he goes, I hate shopping. <laughs> and she goes, we don't hate, we don't hate, we don't hate. The couple declined Art and Troy's offer for dinner and said they did not eat, instead surviving off the nutrients from the air. <laughs> but anyway, they decided to have some soup. Yeah, had some soup and toast. <laughs> the woman also said they did not sleep. They sat in the realms watching others sleep. She had her hair up and she had, she'd been collecting anything she found in the garden, twigs, bushes, dirt, leaves eggshells, she put all in her hair, just like a whole head full of just sticks and twigs and... I'll thought, tell you what, we laughed our heads off, we laughed our heads off. Anyway, the next so morning uh, we go, did you have a good sleep? She goes, oh, she goes, no, I was up there in the realms watching you all and I thought, I hope not because we were laughing about you in the kitchen. <laughs> Among the characters at the B&B were those that believed a ghost lived in an upstairs bedroom. One particular guest collapsed at the side of the room. <laughs> there was a bit of a contentious issue, the ghost. We've had it, there's a room upstairs. I've never seen one. Well, we haven't seen one. There's a room upstairs, I've right? I've never heard Let one. me tell this story, you wait. And she collapsed at the top of the stairs. I'm going to faint, there's been a murder up here, there's something in that room. Big drama queen, she collapsed and 
had to have a massage. They had to wake her up. It was like full on drama. And she comes it's down the stairs. Absolutely. Hysterical. She comes down the stairs and she goes, "There's been a man dragging a woman's body down this staircase. There's evil in here." Anyway, so she was a crazy woman. Mr. Van Dyke said that after 20 years at the homestead, leaving would be the end of an era. This is the most beautiful spot in the whole of Benigo because A, we're surrounded by creeks where there's always water, got beautiful views, we're in a valley, and it's, it's a great setting.